when you look at the history of corporations and these issues, whether it's Enron or asbestos or the subprime lending, in all of those instances, the companies treated the possibility of a severe result as being only remotely likely. And so they said, under the existing rules, we don't have to report that. What FASB has said is, if it's a severe outcome like those, um, but you view it as only remotely likely, you have to report it if the issue would be resolved within the next year. Um, it's a very weak idea because when you think about any of these issues, uh, they resolve over the long term. And there ought to be, if investors are going to have a complete picture, there ought to be disclosure regardless of when the issue will resolve. Let's take um, asbestos or let's take something that's actually going on now, which is a lot of companies are using new uh, nanotechnology products, some of which actually resemble asbestos, including in lab tests showing uh, the effects that they could have uh, creating a mesothelioma-like symptom. Uh, and yet some companies are really deploying these materials widely, and they are not right now, uh, by and large, disclosing to their shareholders uh, the fact that they're doing this and the existence of these risks, which could be severe. It's both a financial issue, a very important financial issue, but it also is a public health issue. Now, uh, the question is, uh, would they disclose it under the new rule? Uh, as FASB proposes? And the answer is no, they would not. And the reason they wouldn't is because if you talk about an asbestos-like illness, it happens over the course of decades. So even though they might be taking a severe risk and they might say, well, we think the outcome likelihood is remote of, of having that severe risk, uh, because it will only resolve over the course of decades, it would not be disclosed. So what I believe needs to happen instead is that any severe risks, even if a company views them as remote, needs to be disclosed. And so there are some investors that probably if they knew that a company was using an asbestos-like material broadly, uh, they might say, look, we're in this for the long term. We don't want to sit around and wait and see uh, whether you're going to have liability for this. We're going to invest somewhere else. And that should be an investor's prerogative and not information that's withheld from them, as is commonly done under the current rules.